Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Everyday May video. I actually got ready, got set up, and we're filming a sit down video. I feel like Everyday May has been VV casual. There's been a lot of just chilling and get ready with me's and I figured I would do a good old favorite style video. I wanted to tell you guys all of the things that I have been loving in the month of May because there have been so many product launches and products that might not be new, but they might be new to me. There have been so many makeup discoveries that I have been having over the last month and a bit. And I feel like it's been a really long time since I've actually filmed a things I'm loving or favorites video. So that's what I wanted to do for you guys today. I have so many products in front of me that I want to talk about and I just want to hop right in because there's a lot of good products here my friends there's a lot of great things so sit tight if you guys have been watching any of my recent kind of getting ready with me videos then these will be repetitive to you but if tutorials aren't your thing and you haven't been watching then you know here is a sit down blabbing video where I'm going to tell you all the things that I've been loving. So anyway, let's do that. I wanted to first mention actually that everything that is on my face and on my body will be linked in the description box down below, but I'm just gonna tell you guys I'm wearing Glossier cake on my lips. My hair is done by At Hair by Armane, and this top is from Rixo London. I believe I got it from net porte Anywho. Let's get onto the products. I'm just gonna go in the order of how I would apply the things onto my face. So I'm gonna start with the base products and this is gonna be no, oh, I'm going, <laughs> I put these really far away. This is gonna be no surprise to you guys if you have watched my recent videos, but the L'Oreal Lumi Glotions. They brought quite a few new glowing related products out. They have the Glotions, they brought out the Lumi Drops, and then they also have the highlighting palettes in a bunch of different shades. There are four shades in this, I believe. This is the lightest and then they have two more that are darker after this. There's gonna be a color for everyone. It is such a beautiful formula. I really like the shade 902, but recently I've also been mixing in the 901 because when I first looked at it, when I uh, received the package, it's quite pink, like the bottle is pink and this one's more bronzy. So I kind of just assumed that this would be a more pinky shade, but once you actually squeeze it out and apply it with your Vanga Papets, it's quite champagne-y and these two mixed together are absolutely glorious. It's such a, like there's no chunks of glitter in it. It just puts a beautiful glow all over your face. I've been covering my entire face in this, mixing the two together and it's just so gorgeous. I've been reaching for these over any of the other glowing products I have. I love that they're from the drugstore and I also love how much product you get in here because especially if you do your makeup similar to me, I really douse my entire face in this every day and I like that they actually put a lot of product in here. So this has definitely been a huge, huge favorite of mine. Love it, L'Oreal. I'm so glad that you came out with these products. They're fantastic and if you haven't tried them yet, you definitely must. So that's been going underneath my base. And then I actually have two kind of foundation-y favorites. I mean, truly like on a daily basis, I always go towards my It Cosmetic CC Cream and the Glossier Skin Tint. Those two mixed together have been absolutely beautiful beautiful. It's always my go-to, but I've really been trying to shop my stash and branch out and try a couple other things that I have. And I recently rediscovered the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I have the shade Light Beige. This is just such a glorious foundation. Actually, when we were at the lake house with the sound proposal and everyone, Christy, Raw Beauty Christy, if you guys don't know her, she is freaking hysterical. She's one of the most wonderful people on the planet. She's so sweet. And if you haven't subscribed to her channel, I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to link it down below, but she was wearing the banner stick the whole time. And she's like, oh yeah, like this is my favorite foundation. It's beautiful. Her skin is amazing. So it's kind of rough to compare yourself to someone like Christy with her angel goddess skin, but she has been wearing the hourglass banner stick. And I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta pull that out again and play with it. And I put it on the other day. My preferred application of this is to apply some stripes around my face. And then I blend it out with a brush. I love the Mac 170 brush and it just really I don't know how to describe it other than it just looks like your skin. It has a really beautiful like medium to full coverage, but you don't feel it, you don't see it on your skin. It just really, really blends in. It has a very uh, skin-like satin finish and it's just gorgeous. It wears so well throughout the day. Oftentimes, like when I wear my lighter foundation mixtures, I expect it to kind of dissolve off my face by the end of the day, but this one really uh, packs a punch if you guys are needing to have a full day of foundation usage. This is beautiful and they have so many different shades in this. I am very thankful to Christy for making me pull this out again in Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. It's fantastic. Um, another product that I've been loving as well, mainly for its smell. <laughs> I'm really, really obsessed with it. It's actually what I'm wearing today. It's the Lancome Skin Feels Good Foundation. Moist tinted moisturizer. 
Hydrating Skin Tint Healthy Glow. That's what it's called with Moringa Seed Extract, which is what the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm has in. Wow, 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 maybe that's the smell. This is beautiful. Uh, I've been mixing it with the Glossier Skin Tint just because I like to always add a little bit more of a glow. I find that this one has more of a, not a matte finish, like, because I know when people say matte, they just assume that it's gonna be like, dehydrating and sucking of the of the skin and making it feel dry but it does just have that more natural finish and mixed with the Glossier Skin Tint it puts a little bit more of that hydrating glow in there and I think the combination of the two is just beautiful. I have the shade beige in this and I just really like it. It gives a really really natural lighter finish to the skin. The Hourglass one's more full coverage. I was kind of having a like a not kind of I was having a really big breakout over the last couple weeks and it was just nice to go for something with that full coverage but on lighter days this is really beautiful and it's again what I'm wearing on my skin now and it just puts a really beautiful finish over. So those have been the kind of base foundation products that I've been loving. A concealer that I have really, really, really been loving and it's the concealer I'm wearing today. It's the concealer I've been kind of reaching for the most as of late. It's the RMS Beauty Uncover Up. I have this in the shade number 22. It's beautiful. It's a little bit less wet, I find, than the Glossier Stretch Concealer, so it does have a little bit more coverage and um, I don't find that I have to set this one with powder, whereas where I wear the Glossier Stretch Concealer, it's for days where I really want that light, glowing, dewy makeup and this one's kind of more long lasting, has a little bit more coverage, like I said, and I really, really love this one for for underneath the eyes and I really like to apply this with the brush I find it applies better with a brush than with my fingers so I'll take a little concealer brush and just put this underneath the eyes and it's absolutely beautiful and I've kind of been leaning away from the matte look I've been really inspired by very very glowy skin lately so I've been reaching towards this a lot and it's definitely the concealer that I have been loving the mostest there are so many products otherwise that I have been loving as well I'm gonna go with the bronzers now the bronzer that I have been loving the most is the Lila B B Sunkissed bronze beauty bronzer or duo. I've mentioned this a ton before. Um, this is this is disgusting. Look at the packaging of this. <laughs> I use it so much. It is so filthy, but it's the most beautiful. Like this is a stone. It feels like a, you're holding like a massage stone in your hand. The packaging is insane. It's so gorgeous. It's really expensive. The Lila B products are definitely not affordable by any means, but they are really, really gorgeous, and I love this one. You guys know I love to layer up my bronzing products. I love to use a matte bronzer. The one I've been reaching for lately is, is the Benefit Hula. I've been going back to that one. And then I love to go over top with a shimmery bronzer just to add that extra oomph of glow, and this one's gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous color. It puts the most lovely sun-kissed sheen on your skin, and I think it's just beautiful. I love the packaging. I've really, any trip I've gone on, like to Tulum or New York or wherever, um, this is the one I've been packing with me. It's heavy, but it's nice and small, and it's perfect for travel. And also when you're going to these destinations, if you have date nights or events or whatever, this one's also beautiful to put on your Decolleté. Your chesticle. Yeah, I, I love to just cover my entire body in this. It's beautiful and that's been definitely a favorite bronzer of mine as well as this one. This, if you guys have been keeping up with my vids, I picked this up in the round two of my Sephora VIB sale and this was a recommendation from Sam. Sam never leads me astray with her recommendation. She is the queen of glowy bronze skin and she was like, yo, you need to get on this Hourglass Illume Sheer Trio and get on it. Have I done? Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I love the trio all together. I think it's perfect for travel. It's beautiful for the summer. It lasts so well. It's a very natural look. So if you just want something nice to slap on for a bright sunny day and you don't want anything too detectable on your skin, this is perfect. It applies so well as a cream product. It's one of the most blendable creams that I've ever slapped onto my face. And in particular, if you guys can see the usage here, I have been using the bronzer so much. The blush and highlighter are also gorgeous, but I think a favorite is definitely the bronzer and it's a matte bronzer, so you can kind of use it like a cream contour as well. It's gorgeous, super sleek, travel friendly packaging, and it's just a it's just a joy to use. I love it so much. Hourglass can't really do anything wrong in my books. They're pretty great all around and they definitely did not disappoint with that sheer trio. So I've been loving that. Another product that I discovered this month was a Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies All Over Face Color and this is the Hey Honey Highlighter. I'm just going to swatch this for you guys here. Uh, it's a very, very unique highlighter shade, I, I think. It's not too intense, it's not too bright and crazy. It's not like a high beam shooting at your eyeballs, but it's kind of like a warm, it just gives your face a warm glow. Like this one, I put the NARS highlighter on the Fort de France, and it's like, boom. 
there's a pigmented bright shining highlighter blinding you but this one's like just very natural and because it's a little bit more warm in tone it's kind of bronzing all at the same time this one's beautiful for those beach days or like when you're going to the lake or you're just out and you want something very natural it's gorgeous and i do love that it's more warm toned and not as champagne -y and bright i think it's just a very unique shade but also a dupe for the tom ford glow stick duo thing yeah gorgeous beautiful formula love to apply this with my fingers i've used it in quite a few videos recently and another nudie stick that i've been loving also this is also the all over face color this is the bareback blush i think it's just the most gorgeous kind of cool toned blush this is a beautiful formula super easy to blend out with your fingers but also really nice to use with like a dual fiber brush i love this one because it is cool tone it really does give your face a very fresh finish i love it so much i think it's such a unique color it's beautiful and i really do love these sticks however i i do wish that they would just save on the packaging and remove the brush because it's very stiff it kind of just pushes the product around i don't feel like it actually blends it out nicely i do think that these products are much nicer blended out with your fingers or a more loose brush this one I, I wish they would just make these without the brush attached because I feel like you could either add a lot more product or just save on that packaging it's it I, I just don't like it I don't like the brush I think that's unnecessary but yeah the bareback blush is beautiful and I have been loving it a lot recently and I have one more blush that I have been obsessed with it is the NARS I don't know how to say this I don't know if it's Erdem or Erdem or what this guy right here the collaboration that NARS did with this fashion designer, I believe. It is this blush. It is the Loves Me Not blush. It's a beautiful, beautiful, fresh, very, very light, kind of pinky nude, very cool tone. So it does give that, you know, freshy finish. I'm saying fresh a lot, but it's actually the blush I am wearing on my cheeks today. And it just gives a very natural, awake look to the skin and the packaging is beautiful and i wanted to mention it again just because these collaborations are limited edition so if you wanted to pick up a really really beautiful new blush then this is definitely one to go for they also have the loves this is the loves me not and they have the loves me blush which is deeper and would be more suitable for deeper skin tones and it does have a nice light shimmer to it but no chunky glitters or anything yeah absolutely gorgeous and i have been wearing that every day every day i did just want to mention that i have been obsessed with the glossier boy brow i have this in the shade blonde but i also have it in clear so kind of whatever you want it is a beautiful beautiful brow product it really if you have long eyebrow hairs and you need something that's going to cement those in place this is the product for you um i do like the blonde version because it adds a little bit of a tint and adds a little bit of pigment it kind of makes your brows appear more fuller or if you just want the clear version to set your brows and if you have another brow product that you like to use for filling in they they have one for everyone and I love the packaging I think it's perfect the size of the spoolie is really nice and mini it's just fantastic I love it so much and again Sam posted her Glossier video and was raving about this and I was like yes I do need to pull that out again it's fantastic and I also like that Glossier is more reasonably priced than other brow you know setting gels that I have used and loved in the past and yeah rediscovered that obsessed have been wearing it every day and i also did want to mention another new launch from glossier this is their lash slick mascara this is the mascara i'm actually wearing on my eyes today it's a very unique formula to me because normally you guys know i love my lancome monsieur big mascara and also any other mascara that just adds a ton of volume because i do have quite long lashes naturally but they're not very thick so i do like to add a lot of volume i don't necessarily need a lengthening mascara but the thing that i noticed with this one that really blows me away is it it's lifting abilities like I've never had a mascara kind of make my eyes look so open before um, normally I really like that heavy weighed down voluminous lash look but this one just really like lifts my lashes I also don't curl my lashes maybe I'd get the same effect if I use an eyelash curler but I don't and I find that a lot of people use eyelash curlers and want a mascara that's going to lift their lashes and keep that lifted look throughout the day and if you are looking for that and not something that's going to add too much volume and weigh them down this is this is amazing I was really impressed with it it has the kind of plasticky wand and it really just separates defines and lifts 
lengthens the lashes a ton. Yeah, big fan. I think that's a really, really amazing launch from Glossier. And if you want a more lifted mascara look, this is one to try. I have a few lip products that I want to talk about. This will be quick because you guys have seen these all before, but I did first want to mention the, ugh, oh, the Dior Lip Glow in the shade number 102 Raspberry. This bad boy right here has been gracing my lips so much since its discovery. And it, the thing I like about this so much, you guys know I love the Glossier Generation G lipsticks because it's that really beautiful sheer matte formula that you just don't feel on your lips. It's undetectable. You don't have to think about it. It just, it goes away nicely. It doesn't like clump up or curdle or give you the lipstick butthole. It's just a beautiful formula. And what I like about this one is it's all of those things, but it's also their lip glow formula that's very moisturizing and minty. And just, I mean, yeah, it's a moisturizing matte lipstick. It's a fantastic formula. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so easy to apply. The packaging is beautiful. And if you haven't tried it yet, both this one and the 101 pink are beautiful and I've been wearing them so much and I do pray to God that Dior brings out more shades of this because it's just, it's very unique. And this raspberry shade is just so beautiful and bright and fresh for summer. Like just look at that pink. It's such a nice sheer, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's so gorgeous on the lips. I've been wearing it so much, I'm obsessed. And then if I'm wanting something a little bit more bold, I know I've been banging on about these so much, but the Laura Mercier Velour Matte Lip. Ugh, ugh, I get this wrong every time. Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. I got these two new shades, Power and It Girl. And whenever I've been reaching for a bold lip, like something with a lot more pow to it, I've been going for these. Oh, they're so so beautiful. This one right here, this lighter pink is It Girl, and then this deeper one is Power. They are just the most gorgeous, gorgeous, bright colors. I also have some of the corally orangey ones, but they have so many shades. Like there's gonna be a shade for everyone in this. These are only a couple that I picked up, but, and I love this one because it, it can be super, it's very pigmented when you apply it onto your lips, so it can kind of be intimidating for some people, but I really like to blend it out with a lip brush and it's a lot easier to kind of define the lips. Someone mentioned actually that there's a sharpener. Yeah, there's a sharpener. So if you wanted to sharpen it and make it more thin, you can do that and use it as a lip liner as well. But it's gorgeous, such a beautiful, bright, bold lipstick. I'm obsessed, I've been wearing them so much. All right, one final makeup related product, uh, MAC, finally finally made their uh, Fix Plus extended scents, shades, scents. They made the Coconut Fix Plus permanent, okay? If you guys remember, I don't know when it was or how long ago it was, but they brought out, as a limited edition release, they brought out Coconut, Lavender, and Cucumber. I don't know how many shades they brought out, but I was obsessed with the Coconut one, and then I never bought a backup, and was so sad that they took it away, but they heard the people, they listened to the people, and they made them part of their permanent range. So I re-picked up the coconut shade scent. God, it's a scent. <laughs> I love MAC Fix Plus. I know it's not something that I talk about regularly on my channel, but it's a product that I always keep stocked on my desk. I use it to refresh my skin, prep my skin before makeup, apply it after. If I feel like I've put on too much powder or my skin's feeling a little bit more dry, I just love to have one of these kicking around and I love to soak my face in it. So super happy that they brought the cute coconut shade back because it's beautiful and it smells delicious. I have two kind of Bade moisturizing products that I wanted to discuss because I have been in the sun a lot recently and I've been having very dry sunburnt skin. I'm really living life on the edge with the, with the sun and uh, anyway I've just been soaking. I always soak my body in moisturizing things but more so than not I've been really seeking that very moisturized glowy finish for my Bade. So the body lotion I've been loving is this Bioderma Ultra Soothing Balm. Formulated for very dry, irritated to atopic sensitive skin. It repairs, restores lipids, and is anti-itching. This is just a fantastic body lotion. If you guys have very dry skin, I have like terribly dry skin on my body. Like if I don't moisturize my skin the second I get out of the shower, I turn into like a flaking white ashy mess. It's terrible. I have to moisturize my whole body right as soon as I towel myself off. And I also have those like, I don't know, I think there's there's an actual name for it, but it's like the blocked hair follicles. I have those red bumps all over the back of my arms and I've really found that this has been making that go down a lot as I've been using it. There's only like this much left. I have emptied this bottle, it's fantastic, but it's been my favorite kind of go-to body lotion as of late and I will definitely be repurchasing that. I've also been testing the waters on a body oil. Fresh actually sent this to me. It's the Sugar Ultra Nourishing Body Oil and it's this bad boy right here. It's 
covered in oil because I, I it's so funny I use this so much and I've only used up that much you need the tiniest little bit I'm all I mainly keep this to my chesticle and arm area I don't really put this anywhere else on my body it adds such a beautiful oily glow to your chest area and it's also very very hydrating and nourishing on the skin and I think it's beautiful and I haven't really played too much with body oils in the past but this one's beautiful and it smells amazing Dan absolutely poops his pants every time he puts this on he's like what does that smell? It smells amazing. And most of the time it's this. I also have the body lotion there, sugar lemon body lotion. It's fantastic. Ugh. So those are all of the beauty and makeup skin care related things. I wanted to mention two random other favorites. First being this sweater. Now I try my best to, you know, divert and, and go out of my comfort zone when it comes to clothing. And I know I show you guys hauls and I try to wear bright colored tops when I film videos, but in my day to day life, I live in sweatpants <laughs> and I live in sweaters. And when I was in New York, I went to the Anin Bing store because I saw that Estee had done a haul with them. And after I, I saw that, I creeped her Instagram and I was like, wow, this chick really does basics well. And I absolutely shrieked when I saw the Anin Bing store in New York. Dan and I were just, we were actually walking from our hotel to the High Line and we just walked right by it and I was like, stop, <laughs> stop the car. Not actually, we were walking, but you know, I freaking ran into that store. And of course, the only thing I bought was a crew neck sweater, but it is, it is the crew neck sweater. It is absolutely perfect. I have truly, I'm not even joking when I say that I have not taken this off of my skin. It actually, it was, a, it was a struggle to change into a shirt and take this off, but anyway, I'm blabbing, but it's this plain black crew neck sweater. It has a little AB for a neen bing here, and it is just that. I bought this in a size small, and it's perfect. It's just it's just the perfect fit. What I, what I like about it is it's that kind of jersey material. I find a lot of these crew neck sweaters that I've been seeing lately, like I've been on the hunt for one, because I love to live in these, but most of the time they have that really hot like fleece fluffy material on the inside and for a very very sweaty person like myself that's not nice i put those like fleecy sweaters on and i immediately sweat and it just kind of drip Ugh, it's gross i don't like that so i love that this is just a nice jersey cotton material it's not too hot it's not too sweaty it's nice and thin perfect for every day and i have just been putting this on with jeans and black boots and been wearing it every day and it's fabulous and i can't wait to try more from anine bing um someone was it Dima? I think it was Dima. She went on their site and she was like, oh my gosh, it's free shipping on all orders. And I was like, yo, excuse me while I go buy everything. I haven't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> anyway, that's been perfect. Christy, I think Christy ordered it. I don't know if she actually did, but she texted me about it. And Christy, girl, let me know if you bought it and how you like it because it's, it is the best sweater. It's the best. And finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about, if you guys, you know, follow my videos closely and keep up with how much I fail at everything that I say in my videos, then you'll know that I also failed at my New Year's resolution to read a book every month. But I have officially purchased and finished a book. This is The Woman in the Window. I went to Costco with my grandpa a couple weeks back and just thought, well, hey, I'm here and they're cheaper at Costco and I figured I'd pick it up. So I bought The Woman in the Window and it is fantastic i actually finished it within a week which has been it's been a long time since i've actually like read a nail biter book that has kept me you know what are the page turner that's what i was looking for it's a page turner if you guys like something that's a little bit more suspenseful and mysterious it's kind of like a murder mystery oh i don't, I don't want to give anything away but it's basically about a woman who has a very severe case of agoraphobia and she witnesses something in her, you know, constant neighbor watching and it's just kind of how that goes down and how she over has to overcome her agoraphobia to kind of do this and it's also figuring out what happened to her and what made her this way. And then there's just like the most giant unexpected twist that happens in the last like 10 pages of the books and it's just like, whoa, I'm not explaining this well, but I just have to say that I think that anyone would enjoy this book. I don't think that you have to be a particular, like I love my fantasy books. I like to read about dragons, but this one was very out of my normal book reading area and just thought I'd mention it to you and that I loved it and it's great and I think you should read it. So that's it guys. Those are all of the products and things that I have been loving as of late. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below any things, anything in general. Tell me what you guys have been loving over the last little bit. I wanna hear from you and I wanna hear about all the things in life that have been bringing you joy and love. All of the products that I have mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box down below and I will link to things where I'm able. Thanks so much for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you in tomorrow's Everyday May video, another one. 
another one another one another one all right thanks for watching bye